Hi, this is Rachel, and thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk. My goal for you today is to learn more about how to create your own estimating template within Construction Suite's on-cost estimating program. If you're anything like me, once you spend hours and hours working and defining a new estimate for a project, you really don't want to have to repeat the same process for jobs that are going to have a very similar structure. So a good thing there is that we've taken care of this for you with the ability to create your own estimate template within Construction Suite. Now, we provide several template options to you as a part of a Construction Suite package, and you can certainly customize one of those templates or turn an existing project's file into a template for future use. What we're looking at here is actually this project that I've just completed for my Corporate Center Building 1. Turns out I have Building 2 coming along uh, right around the corner, and I need a new estimate for that as well. So rather than recreating it or starting over from scratch, I can actually use this existing template that already has the information that I'd prefer to use into a template. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. Within the estimate itself, you can simply use the Save, Save As Template button to make a copy of this estimate for future use. When you choose the Save As Template option, you can select where you'd want to save it. I typically, of course, put it in my estimating folder. You could, of course, add additional subfolders if you'd like to keep track of different types of work, whether it's remodeling, residential, commercial, and so on. I'm simply going to leave it in my estimating folder and name it this Corporate Center Template. Once you click OK, you have the option to remove some of the details within the estimate. For example, I have quantities and cost information within this existing estimate that are not necessarily going to also be the cost for my new building too. In this scenario, I'm going to leave my cost information, but if I check the quantities option, I can actually remove all the quantities um, to zero. Notice that I also have resources assigned. So my resources have already been assigned to certain suppliers, architects, and subcontractors. If I'm planning on using those same people, I can go ahead and keep those within my template by just leaving this unchecked so that my resources are going to be a part of the template. You can also choose to remove your QuickBooks information. So if you're integrating with QuickBooks for your financial details, as you can see here, I've actually imported my actuals, which is what I've paid so far on this job. Um, and I've imported that information in from QuickBooks. So I can either choose to leave that or uh, or to remove it, or I can actually leave it so that on my next job, I can get a better feel for what it actually took to, um, to pay for that project. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to only remove quantities, select remove and continue, in which case it's going to save as my corporate center temp template. You can see that I've got all of my total price columns zeroed out because my quantities are now zero. My actuals are still showing up, so again, I can reference that information. And I can also see my variance. So it looks like I'm a little over budget if we're looking at it from this point of view. My resources, of course, are all there, so I'm good to go. Now that I'm ready with my template, I can begin creating a new job for this Corporate Center Building 1, uh, excuse me, Building 2. To do so, simply navigate to your estimating section and select to launch your estimate wizard. You'll have the option to start with a predefined estimate, which is going to use one of the templates, or to create a new blank estimate. I'm going to select my Corporate Center template and select Next to create a new project. Once you've entered those details, you'll see that the project has been created and we've assigned that project as, a, as the project for this particular file. Lastly, we can of course include any sales tax. But now we've created this new estimate that already contains much of the same data as the Building 1 project as before, but now we've got it set for Building 2. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great afternoon.